Marlo sent me this tweet a couple of days ago saying, Shocks, I want you to do a monologue for G2. You can be the reason for our comeback. You down? I'm down. But be careful what you wish for, young sir. Here we go. It all starts with going 04. And going 04 is all about sucking ass. Being 04 is all about falling to your demons. Being 04 is all about getting knocked down time after time and not getting back up. Nobody embodies that more than G2 Esports. G2 has dominated Europe for many, many years, but this year, things aren't working out as they once did. You know who also went 04 in the past, Carlos? Schalke no fear, and they sold their team. Maybe worth considering? With peace and love, of course. Now, of course, until 2021, it was all rainbows and sunshine, winning back to back to back to back LEC splits, MVPs for caps of plenty, and G2 conquering the international stage as much as they did Europe, winning MSI and making it to the semifinals and the finals of Worlds. But at the highest level, as we all know, it was a tragedy. G2 was a mere afterthought for FPX and Damwon. A shameful display, and what was worse, it felt like a lost opportunity that may never come again. And now, now we're here. 2021 summer, after the biggest roster change in EU history this year, G2 did not even win spring. The one thing we could always count on did not happen. They were trampled by Rogue and Mad. And it all comes down to this next game. Demons can be slayed, expectations be damned, and Reckless NG2 can cement themselves as the biggest flop of summer. Something they have always tried to prove. In this next game, it's all up to G2 to realize their dreams of going 0-5. Wow. The biggest news of the day is Caps' new haircut. Look at this dude. <laughs> We might get a poppy support, you know. Bro, There's a lot like of dashes it. on Astralis. Viego has a dash with W. Diana obviously has a dash. Shosanna, Renekton. There's a lot of dashes. Go for the invade. It's a big wave. Level five. No. Nope. Can try to aggro here. Oh. Flash forward. It's clean for Mickey, but he cannot find the wall. Dash over the wall from Caps. Look for the snip snip, but he doesn't have any autos on the setup. Yanko's going in, trying to finish the kill. Yanko's getting first blood, gets taken down in response. No more W left for the poppy. It's disaster for G2. Caps getting caught out. Can he turn it back? Caps gets the kill back. And that's a good sign for G2, but a two for two in the end. But now G2 looking for more, more dives, it seems. Maybe they want to look for White Knight. Zanzar and Promise Q of base and move towards the bot side of the map. White Knight reads the play, it looks like. Me. Even without Waltz, he kind of knows what's happening. Needs to make sure he backs off here. If he shows, they might go for it. Mickey still, no, he's gonna stay. Hex flash is gonna be up and available. Actually, normal flash is up and available. He can just go in, stop any potential dash out. No, unstoppable for a brief moment on the Heartbreaker, but Wonder gonna grab the kill. Well played by the side of G2. Yep. Farming well, pushing out well, really monstering out here individually in this matchup. Is now Magic Felix gonna be in trouble. Zanzar ready to go over the wall. That's gonna be big damage coming in. The Gwen might not be tanky enough to survive that one. Caps running for the hills, the shield. Dashing, dipping, ducking, diving, burning, ticking, but he will not. What the fuck was that? Not drop. Oh, yeah, Zanzara gonna finish it up with a dash away, and Magic Felix. Felix walks away empty-handed. Okay, just in time, but the stun didn't land anyway, and the kick was used to just disengage. Now it's a 3v3. Mickey's Flash flashing Mickey in. going into the wall. Mickey potentially going to get burned down here. It's the TP being used. Captain Yanko's just on the retreat. Mickey has to run. He's going to drop a ward in the meantime, but he's just going to get picked off there, not respecting the TP. Big boon for the side of G2. It's Caps fearlessly going forward on the White Knight here. Big damage Look at this coming damage. in! Gwen! I thought seeing his old tier 1s were down, there wouldn't be too much fighting, but he just... He just dives it. Wait, Mickey W, Locking the blast code. Blast call, now the instant follow-up. G2, just like that, swing the gold even further in their favor. What will they do with this advantage? It's a 3v3. Jessica has a lot of damage, but G2 have a lot of poke. Jessica, the one that you need to watch. If the Tristana lives, if the Tristana can get something done, it's gonna be big. White Knight now running for the hills. Yanko's going over the wall. The least in his massive. Reckless from downtown. Big arrows coming in. Arrows finding kills. Will G2 taking the fight. They take out Jessica. White Knight steals the form, but it's not enough. Wonder and Reckless versus the world. They find the triple for Reckless. They can turn to the soul. Very easy for Reckless to come in to finish the fight. Maximum use of the bars. Pass it to the extra yeah. pass. Speed and one <laughs> That's kind of the fight in a nutshell. Like we just talked about, Magic Phoenix is the only one with healing reduction. Now Wonder has the mountains. <gasps> Ooh, Look at that burst. Big arrow, big arrow, big arrow. Oh. Oh. Reckless unstoppable from a mile away he finds that one. Zanzara alting but cannot find a dash to the backside. Yanko's fully committing, unconcerned. The flash, the W back to safety. Yanko's now getting taken down. That's gonna be the reset for White Knight when he gets to the fight. He goes White wide on the kick. White Knight Lee Sin indeed will not have it for too long. Wonder on the backside. That is your raid boss. White Knight in the midst of the entire team will get dropped as the GA. Does he have the reset on the ulti? Does not look like it. Does just get taken out. And G2 now ready to barrel down mid lane. G2 could look for an end or they could look for three inhibitors here. Maybe Astralis just want to commit on Wonder. Jesko stepping forward. The stun goes wide. Wonder still has not burned his passive quite yet. 
Well, they're not going to be able to burn it. They finally knock it off. He picks it up again. He heals again. That's the ultimate. The flash out to safety. The rest of the team is just ending the game again. Astral is committing everything they have for a single pick. Wonder can TP back on full HP. Here he comes. Wonder on the way. G2 going to find the win. Going to move up. Looking to contest the top of the table. Astral is now tied for sixth. And that's going to be that. G2 tried to find some kills, but... The there it is. Okay, Kevs, I do need to ask because I'm personally very, very curious. Is there any particular story behind the aesthetical change? <laughs> uh, I mean, not really so much of a story. It's just like uh, we were losing a lot of games and just felt like something had to change. Uh, so I guess the hair was it this time. Uh, it also has like some added benefits. Uh, I was actually cutting myself, most of it, with like a, a scissor, which obviously helps when you're going on stage playing Gwen, uh, that you're more comfortable around the, with the scissors. Um, but other than that, I think just like getting some changes around. Yeah, in terms of LEC, but in playoffs. Actually, wait a second. No way. You're diving, Reckless. You're only level two. Reckless is not quite dead in the end. He does go down, but this is a double. <laughs> <laughs> Reckless gets one. Mickey gets one. And <sighs> came through onto the cannon minion too. Yankos is very committed to challenging this. But how do you do it without Smite? What's Yankos going to do? He hits a Q. Inspired does still have Flash and will secure it. Flashes away from Yankos. The chase is on now, though. G2 looking for kills, not for the objectives. Inspired down. Reckless has the kill. Oh, that <laughs> blast cone timing was beautiful from Han Summer. Both junglers continuing to match. Both going to be spotted on these control wards as well. Odoamne going in. There's the Odoamne out from Wonder. Dominus popped. Yankos stepping this. forward. As you say, G2 lose this. Spectral more stun immediately. The Moonfall doing a lot of damage, though, and Yankos trying to trade onto Odoamne. Here's the TP. G2 going for it. Yankos diving in. Inspired already down, but the TP was stopped. Wonder is doing very well in the 1v1 in top lane, and now they're flashing in. Flashing for Mickey. Han Summer's gonna get locked up here. Really no place for him to go. Reckless jumping Boom. forward, gets the kill, and now the chase is on. Trimby's gonna try and flash away, but the G2 players Boom. are unrelenting. Two quick kills once again. Remember, they kind of want Rogue to engage onto them. This is bad for Rogue. Caps is on his way, Larson not there, doesn't have a TP. Tower's already down, Mickey puts up the Unbreakable, but Trimby gonna be left for the Wolves. Yankos diving in there, the Fates Call comes out, Trimby's chucked back into the team, and now it's a 5v5 in the top lane. Trimby already down, that's Reckless's 2,000th kill in the LEC. The first player to ever hit that milestone, G2 will get the single kill, and will walk their way out. Huge congratulations to Reckless, 2,000 kills here in the LEC is a massive achievement. And hopefully, he alongside G2 can find their form again as he now finds the 1v1 against Han Summer. That call out in draft, he's going to answer with a solo kill and a classic happy B. To beat G2 <laughs> in the regular season, and uh, this isn't looking close. Every time Mickey. you bring up that graphic, someone flashes. You have a power medic. Oh, here we go, another fight. Right, there's the Glacial Fisher. Goes between Inspire and Larson. TP coming in from Odo Omnes. He's going to chase down Caps, but Yankos and Reckless are here. Caps now getting chased down a little bit by Odo Omne. And Yankos ah! is on the dragon. As you said, not much healing reduction coming out from Caps, and Odo Omne is flashing in, looking for the Heart Zapper. The Doctor will see you now, but in the end, Caps is able to get away. Odo Omne, the Shockwave won't be enough to save him. Yankos gets the kill. Wonder TP'd in. Oh, and now he's killing Trimby, who's going to have to use that ultimate to get to safety. Why are you up, oh, dead. Just, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was not fair. Han Summer's heal was just too late. Odo Amine TP'd in behind them as well. As you can see, Rogue are looking for something, but I'm afraid they're not going to find too much apart from the waiting arms of Reckless. Another kill goes over to G2, and another and another as they just step forward into the base. The shockwave hits. Reckless took no damage from that shockwave. He's still full HP. I mean, it's only one game, so we're not going to say they're totally out of whatever slump they've been in. Is a joy, at least, for this single game. We'll see if they can continue this form through the rest of summer, because right now, they've killed off two members of Rogue. Yankos pops the stopwatch. There's the third to follow it up. Reckless with a triple. He's looking for more. Oh, Shockwave pulls him back. Larson not going to give Reckless his penta today. Another kill comes in as G2 are 18 and 1. G2 will take the Nexus and they will demolish Rogue.